Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a favorites folder for your VSTs in Ableton. Basically, uh, this will be a folder that you can open up in your uh, Ableton browser and it has all your favorite plugins in there. So uh, yeah, first you're going to want to find your VST plugins folder. Now this might be different for everyone. Uh, uh, in terms of VST hygiene, you should really install all of them into one spot. Uh, Typically, some VST plugins prefer to be installed in Steinberg slash VST uh, plugins, but I almost always, um, well, I guess I always install it in uh, program files, VST plugins, they're all there. And uh, when I install a new plugin, I make sure it is there. Uh, and with that being said, this is the 32-bit directory, the x86 uh, version of Ableton. If you're using the 30-bit version of Ableton, if you're using the 64-bit version of Ableton, it is in the uh, non x86 program files in your VST plugins. Just keep them, the 32 bit and the 64 bit, separate but all in the same spot to uh, give yourself less of a headache. So I'm in my VST plugins folder here. I'm going to create a new folder. Super fun. I'm going to add a tilde just because, uh, and this will make sure that, you know, in alphabetical order, tilde is before everything else. And I will go favorites. So these are my favorite plugins here. New folder is created. What is a uh, a beta sort of thing? So I'm going to right click here and then open a new window. All right, cool. So I have this in my new window. So I tend to use uh, FabFilter Pro Q a lot. So what I'll do is I'll open up my FabFilter directory. Here they all are. And uh, yeah, Pro Q. What I'll what I'm going to do is right click, right? And I'm gonna go send to desktop. And what this does is this will create a shortcut, a shortcut or an alias. I also enjoy using, I guess, uh, the C2, let's just say that. Uh, and I'm going to go send to uh, desktop. All right, and you can do this for as many as you want. We're sending them to desktop just for the sake of finding them later. And, uh, oh, look here. Yeah, so these are our shortcuts to uh, these two plugins we want. We're going to drag them into here. Badang, badang. There it is. All right, cool. So now I'm going to open up Ableton, the 32-bit version. And uh, it'll briefly scan VSTs. And uh, it will uh, insert that into our uh, plugins in our folder. This is our browser. And uh, Ableton's, uh, thankfully, they, they handle aliases pretty well. And uh, yeah, you can open that up. And there's uh, C2 and then, uh, oh, no, sorry, Pro C and uh, Pro Q. And those work just the same. And you drag them in, and here they are, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, yeah, for those wondering, they're still present in here. But yeah. And uh yeah, basically, uh, that's it, using uh, shortcuts or aliases or whatever, and that's how you create a favorite folder. Anyway, hope you learned stuff. Take care, and have a good one.